If you are still looking for a gift for your mom, we have some great DIY ideas that are easy and will make her feel special. And speaking of Mother's Day, it is this Sunday, and lifestyle expert Cheryl Leahy joins us with some do-it-yourself ideas for mom that are actually useful. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? <laughs> Hey, Sylvia, how's it going? Good, yes, good. they're useful. Right? Because a lot of times we end up getting things we never touch. So you're starting out with some fun paper flower pens. Tell us what gave you this idea. So what gave me this idea is I always reach for a pen on my desk and hmm, they're always gone because my kids take them. So I figured if my kids made me a cute little pen in a pot, they wouldn't take it and would know it was mine. So all you have to do is wrap this in tissue paper or crepe paper, and it's just a pen that you have around the house. So you have these items in your house most likely. Use a little Elmer's glue, wrap it up, and you have your own cute pen. Very, very cute. Now, the only thing is, who's going to help them make that? The father? Because that's the interesting part. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Right. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's cuter when it's not perfect, yeah, right? It and means it's more coming that from counts, them. But Absolutely. Okay, so next you have homemade taco seasoning. And I find this interesting because everybody always says, don't buy the packaged stuff, make your own. Tell us why. So in my spice rack, I had every single ingredient to make this homemade taco seasoning. It is less expensive, it tastes better, and it doesn't have all the weird preservatives that all the taco seasonings have on the shelf. And what mom doesn't love Taco Tuesday, especially during quarantine? Right, good idea. Yeah, thanks. Okay, and next you have a Moroccan-inspired lantern. This sounds like um, this sounds like a bigger project. How does this work? Maybe this is for a little older kids, but honestly, my eight-year-old did this with me. That's his on the right. And all you do is you mix food coloring with Mod Podge, which is a sealant, and you put it in the inside of, this is an old spaghetti sauce jar. Okay. And then you use puffy paint and um, an old necklace of mine to decorate it. It's really easy, but I suggest using electric candles. <laughs> yeah. Because things get a little crazy, you know. Yeah, it's nice now that we have those electric ones too, and you can just put the batteries I in. You don't have to worry about anybody getting burned, right? Okay. Right, and it's patio season, so yeah, let's absolutely. go with the lanterns. And then the next one I love, I've always thought about doing this myself. I've never done it before. How difficult is to make your own body scrub? Okay, I have a video of this right here that's on my blog. I literally use the coffee grounds that I made for the morning, mix it with a little of the sugar and some olive oil. That is all, and I put a cute little lid on it. I love you a lot, Tay. Oh, oh, that's so cool. So that's, that is super basic. So any, any child can do this, mm -hmm. and of course you always want to supervise them, but it's literally spooning ingredients into a cute jar. That okay. is all, and mom will love it because you need to get beach ready, right? It's gonna happen. Right, and you know what, it's gonna, it's, the kids are gonna feel so special that they made it for you themselves. Some fun ideas. Yes. Happy yes. Mother's Day to you as you hunker down uh, this Sunday. Tell everybody uh, your website and maybe your Instagram where they can find you. Sure, my website is all dressed up with nothing to drink, and I am at CJ, all dressed up on Instagram. So, happy Mother's yes. Day, Happy Sylvia. Mother's Day. Great to see you. Have a good one. You too.